Friday. Finally Friday. It's supposed to rain all weekend. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be something, that's for sure. We finally got our pool up and going, so our kids, they're like, they don't care if it's raining or not, as long as it's not lightning. Has it been got warm enough for them to get in it? They don't care. Oh, they don't care. Just go, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's the whole, they're shivering. It's, it's not cold outside, you know. Oh, yeah. We convinced Michael it wasn't cold last night, and he finally got in, so. Oh, yeah. He said we lied. It's I know really at cold. the country club, they had to repaint the pool. Oh, so no. they drained it and pressure washed it and all that, you know, and they filled it up. Of course, they got like a two inch line that goes into it. So it only took a day to fill it up. The mm -hmm. next day, there's kids in it swimming. I was like, man, that water's got to be freezing. That water is super cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's the Matco life this week? It's going. We have sold a lot of stuff. So the one thing that's hanging above your head is what I was going to kind of show a difference. It's the hood light. It's the uh -huh. 2000 lumen Matco hood light. So we have somebody that won't see it versus the, now of course it's rechargeable and you can use it while it's charging and it has that diffuser on it. Mm -hmm. So it has the LED strip of course. Yeah. <laughs> and then the one sitting right there against the box, which I hadn't took it out because I didn't want to have to hang up two That's right now. That's the one I have. Yeah, but. so that's the Milwaukee one. It's pretty nice. Of course, it has the the battery. Mm -hmm. you just, the best thing, honestly, if you're going to use that one, if you have one of the four O's, and I think it's four, or five, or six O, the M12s is yep. to use one of those. If you're going to be using it for a long period of time, now if you're just popping it up there, not going to use it very right. long, just use one of the small ones. But they're pretty nice. We cool. have. Well, I have to say the uh, the sunglasses were hit. You did a good job of those. So. That's good. That was a good thing. Nothing wrong with a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> That's why it's good to have that kind of stuff on a tool truck. That way you can kind of save the day with it. Yes. So well, after that, um, of course, this is one of our first stops. Like the whole day it was, hey, do you have something like this or like this? So I mean, ended up selling just random yeah. stuff. I'm like, hey. Whatever works. I mean, because y'all know y'all's wives. <laughs> well, that's what you're going to have to do, like, for every, like, plan ahead for every holiday and get get stuff like that for the gals oh, on yeah. there. Well, um, he kind of laughed because the spot blower that you bought, mm -hmm. I've been wanting one. So we finally got one in. So I was like, I'm just going to take that off. Yeah. And, of course, our little boy, he had a field day with it yeah. uh, yesterday. Oh, that was last week. So, yeah. He, nice. Yeah, he Works took good. it out and uh, he was cleaning up the trampoline because it's underneath the crepe myrtle. Oh, so, yeah. of course, if you've ever seen one of those, it has like the little bee twigs and mm -hmm. the leaves. They cannot stand jumping on anything. So, our, our middle, she picked it up and he leaf blowed it out. So, That's it was. Yeah. Worked as a team. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and then he has like a little, he's obsessed with Lamborghinis. Yeah. So, it's fun inter interesting conversation but he'll take it and he'll set it out like on here and he'll press it and it'll just like fly he said my lambo's fast like, all right so we'll set the tools for your lambo whenever you decide to get it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to uh add a couple more trips to the fleet where you can afford a lambo i'm telling you something he that's what he wants so. i should take him over to atlanta to the dealership and let him look i i mm, would he want one and yeah. he my mother-in-law bless her heart she told him um that's what he wanted for christmas so she got him a lambo for christmas she actually got him three different colors of course they're not real mm -hmm. they're like this big yeah well he told her whenever he opened it and he was playing with them he said nana next time i want a big lambo talking about like you know <laughs> a real you can lambo. drive yeah. so yeah it was it, it was funny because he was like i love these but he's like i want a big one and right I'm like, well you're only four so well, he's got goals in life then so hey. You, you said them, and I mean, that it is what it is. There you go. Um, the next new thing, it's new to Maco. Let me throw that out there. Is OptiGrip. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's Grip Edge. Um, I hadn't even opened them. They just come in. 
this is the master set. There, and there's your part number because it's half mile long. Well, this is the first time I've seen them in person. Yeah, we had a guy, he wanted them because he said, I want something that's going to be strong enough to get out a strip torx, mm -hmm. which they call them star. Yeah. They do not call them torx. And so the nice, pretty Maco case. Sure. Be careful with this because it will break. Just a heads up. And then I can't get the dang thing open. Hey, you have to. I have to cut the sticker. Yes. I don't have my knife. And we're good. There we go. So this one, I don't know when you would use a T70, but it's got one. Yeah. The yep, and it has the little Maco logo on there and everything. Lifetime warranty on them. Fun stuff. Yeah, I read a thing. It's kind of funny that you brought that up. <laughs> uh, talking about the Opti grips, I seen a thing on one of the tool forums. I was talking about the Maco Opti grips different than Grip Edge. I'm like, no, I didn't say anything. Like a lot of times, I just read stuff and just kind of like laugh, you know. And then one guy said, "Well, Mac started it, and their metal's better." I'm like, that's the it's exact the same. same crap. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> so it's nothing different. Every tool company does it. I mean, not one. I, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on it, but I'm, I don't think there's one tool company that strictly does their own no, there's stuff. Not. Everybody yeah. does it. And I think I've got... Well, I've, I see stuff all the time. I say I read a yeah. lot, you know, and so, people are like, Snap-on don't rebrand nothing. I'm like, yes, they do, because I have <laughs> yeah. a Wilton vice that's branded Snap-on. Exactly. It's a Wilton. So we had somebody asking about a floor jack. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, mm -hmm. you can get them and they're going to have Maco on them. I'll give you an example. So if a customer wants something that is special order, right? And they're like, hey, can you get this? This is the part number from the actual manufacturer. I was sure. like, okay, then let me look at it. He wanted a half inch extension that is impact that is wobble. Yeah. We special ordered this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no big deal. It still has a lifetime warranty on it, and it's covered through us. But we had to special order it. Same thing goes with these. It's the same. It's just one's right. Maco and one's not. These are covered through us. We will warranty our Maco ones out. Mm -hmm. This set is different than the regular Grip Edge set because right. it only goes up to 60. Mm -hmm. Ours has a 70 in it. So, but, and these are nice too because they're gray. Yeah, so just a different look. I mean, mm -hmm. it's cool. I actually like it better, to be honest with you. Yeah. I figured they'd have put like a blue or a red stripe on those. With so, um, with some of them, there is a red yeah. or blue stripe. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I think it's the extractor sockets. So oh. I think that would have looked a lot better if they'd have done that. Yeah, yeah. they did. They <laughs> did do some of them with the blue and red. Um, I do like the gray though. The gray's a nice touch. It yeah. looks better. Yeah. But they're nice. Um, like you said, they are the hex are red and blue, mm -hmm. standard and metric. But, uh, and like I said, these are not torques. These are stars. We have people that they, what? they're stars, they're not Stop. torques. Okay, That's so here's here's the deal. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all in on a little truth to they this. They call them stars, not torques. The whole uh, world of torques. Ever. Oh, I know. They call torques. them star because they don't want to pay the licensing exactly. for the use of the copyrighted word of torx exactly that's why i have to specify because if you if you're on they're the only people looking. in the world i think that does that because exactly. they don't want to give nobody any money on it but that's but the truth they're I've freaking torx that, so. they call them stars yes. when, she, <laughs> when she said that i had to I, yeah that's why like, I, yeah if you get on our line online and you look them up, they will be under stars. They will yeah. not be under torques. That's why I had a hard time finding them. But then I remember the last time that Grip Edge was at our expo, or well, it was this first time, <clears> he <throat> said, "Look, they're they're called stars. I guess they don't want that liability of using." No, they don't want to pay. For don't want to pay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, that that uh, threw me for a loop there. But yeah, so it really does. Because I mean, say star. there's no secret, right? Like I work for them, so 
I actually had a conversation with them about it. I was like, I'm glad you guys actually use the word Torx. And they're right. like, oh yeah, we just pay that little bit of money. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so. I call them Torx. I've always called them Torx. So I, That's what they are. I would they confuse a customer fun. real quick if I said star. <laughs> No, that's, like, that's like in the south if if you've got a pair of slip joint pliers they're channel locks that's it yeah. you may sell nipex channel locks or snap on channel locks or matco channel locks, but they're all channel, channel locks, locks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. same way with a crescent wrench right yeah like if it's got a thumb screw on it it's a crescent wrench down here yeah. it don't matter whose name's on it that's the maker of it but it's a crescent <laughs> wrench that's the kind of wrench it is <laughs> Yep. Well, you know, there's the, been the debate for years on Coke or soda or pop yeah. or whatever. And I guess this just falls in, like you said, with Crescent Ranch and Channel Locks and all that. So something something different anyway. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right. Well, some good stuff today. So now you guys know why it's called Stars and not Torques. I just told you. Learned that's the truth. Today. That's yeah. the truth. All right, you guys have a great weekend. It's finally Friday. Thank goodness it's going to be a wet one here, but hey, it's still Friday. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, code tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See ya.